UK. Much love. <laughs> dealer in a park in Washington Square Park. The drug dealer came up to me and said yeah, he wanted to sell me something. He called me, oh, tiny man. Want to buy something? You know? And I'm like, oh, shit. Because I was with these two tall dudes. And they started laughing at me and started calling me tiny. I used to hate that name. <laughs> and then, you know, after years, I started calling myself tiny love. Because I won't, always want to say something with love, so I put tiny love together. Romania in the 90s, I came to America. You know, in Romania there was a Rom revolution against the government. We, you know, people went on the streets. We went against the government and we started fighting with them, like you see in Ukraine, stuff like that. And uh, I mean, that's great. I mean, it was crazy in like, Ukraine. Obviously. Anyway, and I got to America. I had a chance to come here, and you know, I got here in the 90s, and I went. In the 90s, I started going to school, and I, used to, I, I had a Romanian crew of friends who started going to clubs like Palladium, Limelight, Tunnel, uh, Twilo. And from there, we would start going to Graves. And, uh, you know, I eventually became an old school raver. You know? So I started going to a lot of raves. We stay, I, I stayed in the raves for like a decade, and then, you know, the raves start dying out. And at that time, I, my first crew was Liquid Light School. It was a rave crew. We used to do glow sticks. I was the popper. I used to do a little popping there. But you know, my style in Romania, I was influenced by that movie Breakdance. Yes. I seen that movie. Yeah, I seen that movie like twice, two times because it wasn't even my video. Because you know, we didn't have like uh, we didn't have a TV in Romania would be like fucking five hours. And they only showed the, the fucking the dictators saying <laughs> stupid shit. Hey, I did this for the country. <laughs> Come to New York. I'm telling you, from my point of view, what I see, there was no popping on the streets. There was only like the hitters. Only hitters were dancing, and the, those were the guys that were doing boogie, boogie style, and uh, b boy. There used to be, um, you know, um, what's there was a lot of like hitting crews, you know, back then. 
and uh, certain spots, not in the US, in, 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 in the Union Square, there wasn't nobody dancing. So um, I got there, you know, I start, you know, hitting crew, you always mad cool, because if you want to dance, they let you in, do whatever, even if you don't know, you know, whatever. So. So basically, the problem is that a lot of people talk, they don't do liquid, and they have waivers. And they might know a little bit of liquid, and they, you know, they confuse both of them. So basically, waving is, um, there's certain type of waving, like there's this type of waving where you do like in pictures, boom, you stop, you do a wave, stop, um, or you could pop with it, pop with it, you know. You have full work. Um, now, liquid is a continuous flow. You keep doing it like that. You keep doing it continuously. There's no stopping. You're not stopping on beat. You, you. It's like a groove. You're going in and out of the groove. Like, boom, 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 boom. Basically, you hear me? You see, I do the foot. My feet do the beat, and the rest. Does the like the the cymbals, the the acid lines, whatever comes into the song? Because song does you know you don't just have to dance on, on the beat. There's mad sounds there that you can use. Anyway, you know, but that's liquid, continuously continuous flow. This basically a lot of the the OGs they used to do this this we call it liquid rail. This one rail. They do a rail, they throw it up, and they do waves. You see, like when I do a wave, I set up, my hand stays here to keep the, to, to keep the illusion. And it, no. it, the energy will go in and out, out of your body. You can throw it out. Now, liquid is now, there's no in and out of the, the body energy. You are the energy, you are the energy. You, inside, you, there's no coming out and going in. Well, you know, I started going to the clubs, and in the clubs they used to do, they used to do a lot of hip hop. In the 90s, it was hip hop, it was really big. So, but in the clubs they used to play hip hop, they used to play uh, freestyle music, and then they used to play house at the same time. Like, they play five, six songs of this, then they play, uh, you know, 10 songs of that, and then they, you know, so every hour there will be some type of different sound that will come in. So I used to, used to do reggae for, yeah. <laughs> for an hour, and then, you know, you go back to hip hop. Yeah. Know, boom. So you, it was, that's why a lot of those 90s hip hop dudes, they could do anything. Because the sound that the DJ used to play, I mean, if they play reggae, you're not gonna do this. You know? You know, so this, that, Whatever the DJ will play, that's why, you know, that's why a lot of the hip hop dudes, they even pop, they could do anything, you know, because the way they grew into that sound. Basically, from my research, the first liquid cruise was from NASA. There used to be these NASA kids, they used to have a crew. They're not really a, like a crew, they used to be the kids they used to meet in the back room in NASA, and that's how Liquid came out, came about, you know. It was the sound they were listening to, because like I said, it's the, the, the sound makes the dance, you know. The way people understand it, that's how you know, they start doing it, you know. So that the sound that they were listening to made them do this Liquid. And it wasn't like popping, there was, there was no poppers there, there was no b-boys there. It was like, you know, this ravers, ravers, you know, and dance, you know, that type of like, it was like the beginning of techno where like house was changing to technically. I came at the end of NASA. NASA had like a year, two years, something like that, and then it died out. And it came back again in the same place. And uh, it was called Home. The same party, but they changed the name. And you know, I came at that, the beginning of that, and I got into Liquid going to clubs too, because clubs had liquid dudes too, like Limelight. Because the problem is that Limelight, like at the beginning of the rave in New York City, there was a lot of fight between the, the, the people that were doing the rave and the club people. Because everybody wanted to get into that ecstasy stuff. And there was a lot of fight between the gangsters and the ravers. And that's how the beginning of rave died out, because you know, these people, 
try to take the energy and put it into the clubs. You know? So basically, that's how clubs destroy rave. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, clubs destroy rave, especially limelight. You know, so but in limelight, there used to be ravers, and that. that's why I start seeing a lot of the liquid lights. And in limelight, they used to have flashlights, lights, all kinds of shits, glow sticks. So that's how I, you know, I start going to glow sticks and do a, a lot of figure eight, this figure eight, and you know dancing but it was dancing you know you, you keep moving it wasn't like this in one spot you know it was a lot of dancing and moving and the beat was like hard down down yeah. down 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 yeah with the acid lines in it you know so some of the guys they influenced a lot of like the poppers and eventually later on some of the liquid dudes when the you know like his name is Greg Irwin he used to do a finger fitness and also he was doing this one and um, a lot of like finger um, like exercises like this you know and then um, he had like a skit where he would dance on the, something like this boom, something like that anyway um, and he had a skit he would be, go on a theater not now on theater on TV and do like a little skit with this and also these you know and these actually to this day they're great exercises for fingers Greg Go and Greg, Greg is Irwin yeah. Greg Irwin Greg and this is from the 80s and, and he influenced a lot of the probably in the 80s by being on TV you know once you've been on TV it's like a lot of people see you so, yes, so back then in the fucking 80s before internet and all that shit I like it I like it I like it you know I mean the kids are coming out with a lot of new shit there's not a lot of footwork that's the problem not a lot of full work and you know some kids do full work but not everybody but even me sometimes I don't do the full work like I used to but depends you know how you you know what and then the problem is that the music starts changing too you know it's not like it used to be so hardcore like back then so now it's more very really wavy and yeah. this you go to those big raves and they play this they have a weird way of playing music so it's not like it used to be so I guess it's understandable but full work you know that's the problem Yeah, so basically what happened, because of that whole fighting and all that shit, you know, like it was the first wave in the 2000s, it started going up. And so popping became real, like at one point, became real big from 2000 up. 2000, you know, five, yeah. whatever, you know, the, like a whole decade it started going up and then, and then fell in the shit. <laughs> yeah, for real, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, there's all these popping battles you will see in Europe and Japan. They're not, they whack, whack, oh my God, no. They for do real. nothing, they don't know how to wave, they don't know how to touch. You not, yo, that shit was invented in fucking 30 years ago, 40 years ago. You, you still don't know how to touch finger waves and, and um, there's so many styles now. Like mm. in New York, there's like there's this flex style right now. There's like a whole bunch. Like get like there's so many dances, and a lot of these. Well, the problem is that a lot of these dances take from popping techniques. They take tutting. Like in flexing, they calling tutting connecting. The reason is, you know, like I know because I've been. I know I'm, I'm with them. I battle them a lot of times, and I learn from them too. So they did from tutting, tutting is like, you know, square boxes, you know, boxes, 90 degrees, and it's all like very rigid for popping because you gotta pop on beat, you know? Mm. And, you know, another thing is like the poppers nowadays, they don't even know how to move around with tutting, you know? They just like, you know, yeah, they don't have footwork. So tutting, it's not just hands work, it's foot work too. Dude, yeah. And ground work too. It's true, man. So yeah, and, it's true. I, and then if you're a tutter and you're on a pop, if you're on popping battle and the motherfucker judge don't even know how to tut, how are you gonna judge me? If I do this crazy ass tut combo, he's gonna look at me like, uh, I don't know about that, but I'll judge you on uh, your footwork. But first, these judges need to start getting, judges need to learn tutting, waving, they need to, waving, not like this, three waves. Mm. And then back to this, you know? That's not waving, you know? You do three waves and you gotta be a waver, you know? There's certain, like, waver is a waver. Yes. Everybody knows he's a waver, yes. you know? Like uh, Skywalker, 
is a waver. Definitely. Everybody knows a waver. I'm a waver. Everybody knows, even though I'm doing liquid too, but I could just do waves, just waves. I mean, there's certain people that know, you know, and then, like, Wiggles is a waver. He knows how to wave, you know? Even though he does a lot of that boogaloo stuff, but he, like, in the beginning days, you know him. He, you know, that's so, you have to know all these styles. If you want to judge, you have to know all these styles. Also, the new styles that are coming up. There's all these new styles of uh, animation, you know. So, yeah, you, you gotta start, the judges start, you know. Maybe it should be more the OGs to, to judge, not no new school. New school, they gotta start, you know, start learning.